It's June, everybody. Summertime is upon us, 2021. You're probably looking to make some big purchases over the 4th of July, maybe even Labor Day weekend. This year, if you're looking at getting your investment journey started, what I encourage you to do is the next time you have a big chunk of money that you may have saved up or was given as a gift, I'd encourage you to look at maybe investing that money and start your snowball. Down the road, that money is going to increase exponentially and really help become financially independent in the future. I want you to be able to create plans, be able to do the things that you want on your terms and on your schedule. So just keep that in mind as uh, you continue watching this channel and you continue growing and advancing in your investment journey. I was going through a lot of stocks this week and one of them I came across, the ticker symbol BILI. So many analysts were excited about this stock. So I decided I would do a little more digging to figure out why. I was looking in the Robinhood app, the Webull app, the Thinkorswim app, and all of them had really positive buy ratings for this stock. So I thought I would dive into a little bit of the fundamentals, what they do, and if you should be getting into this stock as well. So let's dive right in and take a look. Welcome back to my channel, Levi Spade, your host. This week I'm coming to you with another gaming stock. Their ticker symbol is BILI, a pretty simple one to remember. The company name Beely Beely, it is a Chinese stock. And this one is one that provides mobile games for people in China. The company also allows content creators onto the platform. Users are then able to watch and engage with these content creators. Hmm, that reminds me much of YouTube. Advertisers have also flocked to this platform where they're able to display their ads and be able to do e-commerce on this platform. This company has seen some big growth. Beely Beely is a $42 billion company and their 52 week range is $35 all the way up to $150. This is really incredible. Now some of the other fundamentals here for Beely, there's no information because they're actually losing money each quarter. This is very different from other stocks I cover, such as Apple, Walmart, Netflix, they're all making money after cost of goods, marketing, taxes, and everything else. So let's see exactly why they're losing money and some of their other metrics. You can see here that looking at the investor presentation for Beely, that they have about 200 mobile active users on their platform. You can see from the chart here that they are steadily growing their user base and they are also having content creators on the platform creating videos that the viewers are able to engage with. Obviously, Beely Beely is a much smaller company than Google who does YouTube, but you can see that they are doing the exact same thing as US companies and this has been a trend here in the 21st century where companies are able to provide a platform for people like you and I to create content and then allow other people to enjoy it when it's broadcasted. One of the other pieces of information I came across was the institutional ownership of Beely is only 45%. This means there are a lot of other outstanding shares of Beely that aren't owned by a big corporation. This is a little concerning because you can see that the stock price is going to have a big volatility. That just simply means the price could go up and down majorly from day to day. Now, Beely is a Chinese based company. This means that the company has to follow the rules and laws in China. And China has a very different way and system of managing companies and how they deal with their financial markets. This means that 
the government has some sway and influence on how the company is managed and how they display the information to other investors around the world. This means that their financial reports, the products that they market, everything has a certain agenda and way of being promoted. So as much as investors want to see all this information and trust it, there's a certain level of grain of salt that you have to take when looking at Chinese stocks and the information that they announce. One of the comparisons I want to show you here is Luck and Coffee. This was one that investors were very excited about and the stock did really well for a short period of time. And then some corruption was exposed within the company. Some people had to retire and resign. And then you can see that the stock price over a five year period really sank. So this could be the very same thing with Bili Bili. And not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is one of those companies that uh, could see the same story with their stock price. When investing in Chinese stocks, always exercise extra caution just because of where they are in the world and the way that they do business. Not the same as US based companies operating in financial markets here in the US. They're held to different standards and levels of transparency with the information of the business. Honestly, I think Beely is not a buy. I think there are plenty other stocks out there in the markets and I think there's just too much risk with this particular stock. Yes, they have seen a huge amount of growth and they very well could be a giant in the future. I just think that this one just has too much inherent risk with it and there's just too much other information we don't know. Even though the company Company is very similar to say uh, YouTube or Facebook where you're able to allow content creators onto your platform allow marketing agencies to uh, pay you money to have ads on there for the users I think there's just simply a lot of better choices out there for your portfolio the temptation can often be Oh, I have $200 or I have $500. Yay, I'm going to go spend it on get a new TV or buy a new couch that's much more comfy than the one I have now. Just remember that you could also take that same money and invest it. You could put it into an ETF or pick 10 good stocks that I've covered on this channel, by the way. And you could see that same amount of money grow over the next couple of months. That means that you could then use that money and continue to grow your investments and get that much closer to your financial goals. It may be the harder thing to do that down the road, you're probably going to thank yourself. I guarantee that if you start doing this now and developing that habit of investing, you're not going to have to rely on living paycheck to paycheck as you begin developing good investing principles, you're going to be able to grow your wealth all that much more quickly. One of the ways that I've been able to save and invest my money in small amounts is each time I look to go order a drink on my phone from Starbucks or Caribou, I look to now take that money and put it into the Cash App or into my Robinhood account and invest that money right away. I see that same amount of money that I normally spent on coffee build up in my portfolio. Another way is every time I've been looking to order, say, from Jimmy John's for lunch or Carboni's Pizza or Domino's, I'll take that same money and put it into my Cash App or my Thinkorswim account. Then I invest that money, do some fractional investing, and I've been happy to see that my portfolio balance has grown over the weeks instead of just throwing that money into short-term gratification. So I'd encourage you guys to do the same thing. Start building these small habits and you're going to start to see the money that you normally would have spent and never seen again to stay with you. If you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate it. 
hit that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure that you see my other future videos that i upload i'll be creating more videos on my trading strategy how i'm implementing them how i'm using them in the trading apps that i use such as cash app thinkorswim weeble I have uh, links down below in this description for you where you're able to open up an account with those trading apps and begin investing if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.